What's going on everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be going over a 24 pack of sketch pens by Silhouette America. But before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on the new videos. Now today we're going to talk about these sketch pens. They work with my Cambio Silhouette 3 that we use to make t-shirts and car vinyls and everything like that. Now these sketch pens, you can go ahead and use just one pen inside the machine at a time. You can go ahead and use two pens of two different colors in the machine at a time or you can use your cutter and one pen. Now I use these on blank business cards. Now you can buy business cards offline, $10 for like $2.50, you can get your cool little design on there and they're all set and that's all good and dandy but I like to make personal ones to the people who buy them so I just go on here real quick throw out a design on there, throw out my design, and it's good to go. You can also use that on stock paper, and you can draw your designs out, and you can also have it cut after you do it, and we'll go ahead and do one of those in this video today. And we're gonna go over here into the computer, and I'm gonna show you a couple ways and a couple things to do this, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're over here in our computer, and I have all my designs already set out. Now. The pens do not color in, they only outline. So as you can see here, as in my name, Native Mags, right here on Limited, it won't color that in. Now there's ways that you can get it to color in, but most of the time you're gonna cut it like this, just blank, kind of see-through. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this box a color, just so you guys can see it. Now, if I was to cut this out and try to get that full color on my thing it, it won't happen same thing with this right here this design we're gonna have to make it see-through and it's gonna cut just like this now there's ways I could do it and I'll go ahead and show you real quick so if we were to take this design right here we're gonna go ahead and enlarge it we can go down here to our sketch tool and I'm gonna go ahead and click a solid one now I'll use the diamond pattern right here and it will fill it in with a diamond We'll go over here to our advanced settings and we can make the spacing as small as we can. All right, then we're gonna go back. I'm gonna go ahead and release the sketch. After that's done, we'll go ahead and bring it back to its original size. And as we can bring it down, you can kind of see like it, it's filled in. And uh, it'll look more filled in the smaller that you get it because the pen's gonna make all those little lines so it's gonna go ahead and kind of fill it in. So, you know, when you're working with designs like this, you can kind of get it colored in. There's other ways to do it. I like this way the best, and when I'm making like engravings, because I'll show you another video where you can make engraves, uh, this works great too. Now you can do the same thing with this, but we're not gonna go ahead and do this. I'll actually take all this off, and we're gonna go ahead, you know what? We're gonna try this. Matter of fact, we're gonna leave this in here, and we're gonna do this, we'll go ahead and have it sketch that and we'll have it cut it out so this design right here that I'll put this color on the background so you can see we'll go ahead and make that I don't know just yellow or whatever color that is so it's in the back so we'll actually go ahead and leave that design kind of sketched in like that and we'll see how that comes out we'll go ahead and do that anyways and then this one right here will be my business card we'll leave that exactly the way it is and we'll go ahead and sketch that out too. And we'll see how this all turns out. Now, I use these pens a few times, so we'll go ahead and, I got a little bit of experience, so th this should come out all right. We'll go ahead and show you a bit. Now, my business card's not green, it's white, but that's just so you guys can see, you know, where it's at on here. And neither is my paper, it's gonna be like a tan color. And we'll go ahead and send these to the cutter. I'll get them all ready and we'll show you the results. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right, so we're already done. I went ahead and sent it to the Cameo, and it went ahead and cut it out, and it went ahead and sketched it. And I'll show you the products here. First up, we have the business card here, and I put my logo on there, boom. Now on the back, we could have put like our email address, phone number, all that stuff, or maybe a little message or whatever. But I just went ahead and did that. One of these cards is just straight black. The other one, they actually have like a glittery color to it. And we went ahead and did the other one also, where we went and tried to fill it all in, because as you can see here, it normally does not fill it in when you do it. Just because the text small, some parts seem kind of filled in, like this other one here. 
And as you can see, the bottom kind of seems filled in, but if you really wanted to fill it in, the one we showed below, uh, I did a pretty good job of filling it on. This was on the stock paper here. I'll go ahead and show you that there. It filled it in pretty nice, man. That's a good, pretty good logo. You can put like, boom, boom, some letters right there, like some initials. I don't know what you would use this for. There's many other things you can use this for. Holidays, birthdays, anything like that. Make little signs on like your little birthday items and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It's kind of rough around the edges. I had to use my scissors. Uh, I think it's time anew for a cutting needle there that I'll go pick up at Hobby Lobby or order online. But if you have any questions, you want to know what the settings I use or anything like that, just go ahead and leave that in the comments below. If there's anything you want to see, go ahead and leave that in the comments below and we'll get back to you. We got some more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Peace.